We talked about the RSP account. We're going to talk about the tax-free savings account in this video. Remember, there is there is basically three accounts. There are three main accounts in Canada. There's the RSP account and all its derivatives. Uh, Locked-in RSP account is a derivative. A Lira is a derivative. A company pension is a derivative. A RIF account is a derivative. A LIF is a derivative. There's probably a few more that I'm forgetting. They all operate somewhat in the same manner, and they all follow somewhat the same tax rules. Okay, so the tax-free savings is what we're going to talk about today. And then the third account is the non-registered account. Those are the three main accounts. Okay, the tax-free savings account came into existence in 2009. A cynical person would say that it was introduced to win the retiree vote. This somewhat makes sense. There are retirees out there who have more cash inflow than cash outflow, so they were saving. They were still saving, even though they were retired. Now, they were past the point of saving into an RSP. You can't save into a RIF, so they were saving in a non-registered account. And the income generated from the savings is taxable. Now, retirees tend to be risk averse so a lot of them were saving into risk-free GICs well that income that they earned off the GIC would be taxed at their marginal tax rate so uh, Stephen Harper is the one who introduced this he said look we're gonna give Canadians uh, a break a five thousand dollar break per year on the income earned on that five thousand dollars so the tfsa was introduced and started so the first year you could contribute five thousand dollars into a tax-free savings whatever that generated you paid no tax on it everybody can benefit from it it's not just for retirees but i think retirees were kind of the the target audience for the tax-free savings account at the start it's somewhat changed now currently you can contribute six thousand dollars a year but there is a limitation, right? The limitation is rather low. 5000 now it's 6000 Now, another thing. If you don't use the room, $5,000 a year currently, it's $6,000 a year. It tends to rise with inflation. But if you don't use the room, you don't lose the room. So in, in 2019, if one has never contributed to a tax-free savings before, or has a zero balance in a tax-free savings, one can plop in $63,500 into a tax-free savings. So this is getting significant now. In the first year, it was $5,000. There wasn't too much you can do with it. In 2019, it's a total contribution room is $63,500. That's going to be $100,000 very soon. Okay, so the structure of the tax-free savings is simple. Contributions do not reduce taxable income. Everything that happens within the account is a non-taxable event. And pulling money out of the tax-free savings is a non-taxable event. So withdrawals from the tax-free savings account do not affect taxable income. Okay, a glimpse into asset location. Let's say you had a magical investment. You put $1,000 in and in two years it grew to ten million dollars this is a ridiculous example but just for the sake of illustration where would you want that investment to be in the rsp in the tax-free savings or in the non-registered account we can rule out the non-registered account because in the non-registered account you have a capital gain of 900 no, sorry of nine million nine hundred and ninety nine thousand so if you sell it, you have a taxable capital gain of half that amount. That amount would be brought into income. Uh, in, the, in the RSP account, you could sell the investment. You could sell the $10 million investment. And if you don't pull that money out of the RSP, that is not a taxable event. However, your RSP account is at least $10 million. And eventually, you have to start redeeming from your RSP. It, once you turn it into a RIF, you have to start redeeming. You can defer that until the age of 71, but you can't defer it any further. Okay, so you're going to have to take out, and whatever you take out, you have to pay tax on. In the tax-free savings, you put in 1000 it grows to $10 million. You can sell it and redeem it, and there are no tax consequences. 
So that is, uh, that's one of the benefits of, uh, of the tax-free savings. Now, the big thing with the tax-free savings, there are many who have soured on the RSP account and are using the tax-free savings to save for retirement. This is wrong-headed. And I'm going to post a video. It should be up there right now. In this video, we prove that if you're saving for retirement, the RSP account is the best way to go. What we do is we take two individuals. We call uh, individual one is a person who saves into an RSP, takes the tax reduction from the contribution, and saves that into a tax-free savings. Individual number two does not like the RSP account, so he saves only into the tax-free savings. They both are the same age, they both have the same income, they both get the same rate of return, they're both saving $5,000 a year, and they both have the same spending money. Now, Mr. RSP is paying less tax, but he's not spending the tax. He's taking that amount and plopping it into a tax-free savings. So they have the same amount of spending money. Mr. RSP is paying less tax in the working years. How, okay, so they're in a very similar situation. They retire. They both have the same amount of CPP. They both have the same amount of old age security. Mr. Tax-Free Savings redeems from his tax-free saving to get to an after-tax income. Mr. RSP says, I want the same exact after-tax income. He gets the same CPP and OAS. He redeems from his RSP. That comes with a tax bill. He turns around and offsets that tax bill from the RSP or the RIF withdrawal. It's likely a RIF at this point. He offsets the tax consequence of redeeming from his RIF by redeeming the exact same amount from his tax-free savings. So they have the same after-tax income in retirement. So they, they, they save the same amount of money in the working years. They have the same after-tax income in the retirement years. Everything else is the same. Then we look at the account progressions and Mr. Tax-Free Savings runs out of money before Mr. RSP. That proves that saving into an RSP is superior to saving into a tax-free savings if the, if the money is earmarked for retirement. Take a look at the video. The tax-free savings account is simple. It is very simple and I've basically described the whole thing right there. Okay, thank you for watching.